and welcome to the second part of my video blog about building laser cutter fume extractor. Uh, here I'm using a um, 4x4 four four feet piece of plywood, uh, basically it's half of the 8 foot piece. So I'm gonna take my uh, big outer ring, uh, align it toward the edges and uh, just basically draw a ring around it. This is gonna be uh, top and bottom parts. So first I'm gonna do one part and I'm gonna use it as template for the second one. So once I drew the circle, I'm going to use ruler and mark side tabs. So basically the tabs are gonna be, it's gonna be lined from each corner and they're gonna be about two inches long and two inches wide. So what I did here, I used the square to mark a two inch mark and then one inch on each side like this and then and then I just uh, drew a 90 degree line down towards the circle and I didn't want to use uh, sharp corners so I rounded them all roughly and then I repeated them for all uh, remaining three sides uh, at this point I'm gonna use my uh, benzo to make the cuts um, not very uh, good at using it basically this is probably the first time i'm actually using it for something useful uh, so what i did first is the easy parts basically just cut the corners off and once i did all four corners i started to do the more difficult part which is uh, cutting the circle part And here you can see where I re replacing the blade and cleaning the machine. Not replacing, just putting it back actually. So yeah, uh, and um, once I had this uh, piece done, I basically used this template for the second piece. So here I'm just making sure that uh, everything looks good. Uh, now one pe one of the pieces is gonna hold the fan. So what I did, I, I marked the hole, six inch diameter hole in the middle. I drilled a bunch of uh, holes in it and then I used the router to cut around it. And it did not come out very good. It was actually a pretty terrible job. So there must be a better way to do this. Uh, keep getting smoke and fire. <laughs> and the cut was really really rough so I just uh, I used my router table to try and smooth it out as best as possible which was not very good so when I um, took it down the basement and I measured the fan uh, of course, I discovered it was uh, a bit too loose, too many uh, space, too much space around it. But this was, this was, I was able to fix that with caulking. And here, I'm uh, marking uh, holes for the threaded rods, which will hold top and bottom piece together. So basically, since it's two inch long, I'm just marking one inch marks, and I'm drilling them 